Getting into number 15 here, we're gonna have our optimal SAT solution, but we also wanna know how to do this you know, in math class, like how could we do this by hand, right? So let's start with doing it by hand and then show how easy it is to do in Desmos as well. So when I see this type of problem, um, and you'll see similar versions of this sometimes with like X to the second, where we aren't able to completely factor everything out and we just have to do polynomial division, right? So it's not too bad. We just set up a normal long division bar and we write, you know, our quotient or, or rather our dividend on the outside and then what we're dividing by our numerator on the inside. And what we want to do is we want to try to match this term, right? You're always trying to match your biggest X term. So to match that, we're only at X. So I would need to multiply and I always try to organize it like my numbers above my numbers, right? I would need to multiply by five to get a five X there. So when I do that and I have to make sure to distribute, so I throw parentheses around this, I would get five X uh, plus 15. So also, you know, some other long division rules that we might have forgotten. When we subtract here, we also have to make sure to do parentheses because it's gonna distribute, right? So I should get finally um, 5x minus 5x, which gets me zero, and then negative two minus 15. So plus a negative 15, so a negative 17, right? And then to kind of, you know, the final way to write this, which you might already be leaning towards D because I see that negative 17, we would have a five as uh, like it went all the way through, but then we would have a remainder of uh, the 17 over our X plus three, what we were originally dividing by. So it's really not that bad. Uh, usually there's an extra step if there is an X, X squared. So I'll make sure to upload when we get to that one. Um, so it is gonna be D here, but what's nice on the SAT is you can just use Desmos, right? So real quick, I'll pull up Desmos and I'm just going to plug in my function here. So we're gonna do five X minus two divided by parentheses divided by X plus three. And then what we're looking for in our answer choices here is what's going to match this graph, right? So you can't see the bottom right one, so we'll just focus on that top left. So I know A and B aren't gonna match my graph because A and B are just gonna be straight lines. So I jump straight to C, five minus two divided by X plus three. You can see how that's a different graph. So I just change it to 17 on top for letter choice D and you can see how these are the same exact graph. So that's it. That's the really easy way to use Desmos to solve this problem. And you also know how to do it by hand.